Hi everyone, my name is Jason from Shisha in the UK.co.uk and the sampling room bringing you, oh, if I can get comfortable, another episode of the sampling room. But today it is a bit of a combo of a box opening, um, obviously a Yabo, and what I'll show you, I'll show you my snooze stash and how to actually store them as well, long term slash short term. Right, here we go. It's quite a few. I've got a, but as I say, the autofocus isn't very good in this at the moment. I'm sorry about that because I'm using a different camera. But I've got a Lundgren's uh, Scani Vite. I have a General XR, that's the slim white large. Oh, by the way, this is all from topsnooze.com before they did their either a temporary close down or just general close down. Um, I also have a Nordic Storm, that's a fresh a white slim. A crafted snooze, whiskey, haven't tried this one yet. Not looking forward to that. A general uh, McMyra, very, very nice snooze that. Some of these I'll do a review on at some point, don't know when, but I will do. Um, this is a Byron white portion. Now, if you don't know, um, Byron used to be called a what it used to be called it used to be called Monte Cristo because it actually has um, you know Monte Cristo leaves in you know Cuban leaves, Cuban tobacco, which is pretty good. It used to have oh yeah, and it still has the uh, little Cuban flag on the side. There you go. Um, Epoch Strong Ice Cool Mint, very nice news. G3. Super slim white, and this is strong as well, strong portion. Uh, general classic white, catch spearmint, Jotterberg's Rappe, um, that's the white large. I'm normally quite good at uh, foreign pronunciations, but um, is it Yitoro? I think that's is it. Ichitoron, H J O R T R O N. Yeah. I think it's either citrus, citrus or berry, or something or other. Um, this is no Yutabog's Rappe. And this is, I don't know actually which one's this. Oh, this is the strong one. Yeah, white, large, strong. Pretty good. Quite a few so far. As you know, obviously the the top snooze have closed, so they gave me a little bit of notice. They gave me a kind of like a, a newsletter saying they were. So I thought I'd get another quick delivery in. This is the Grove. Um, this is the Stark XR General Slim White Large. Slim White Large. Yeah. A bit of a contradiction there, but okay. Um, Nick and Johnny, Americana. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I haven't tried that one yet. Odin's Extreme Portion. So, yeah. Catch Eucalyptus. I've had these are quite good when you've got a cold, so I thought, because uh, I normally I normally stick to uh, snuff, you know, nasal snuff when I've got a cold, so I thought something different. See if you can obviously help you along if I've got a cold. Uh, XR General White Large. Another Yurtabulls Rappe, one that I can't pronounce. Uh, G3 Slim White Strong. I can't remember what I've ordered for a toffee. Catchy Eucalyptus. Byron. Another General Classic White. I'm really into my Generals recently. Really into my journals. Sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Byron White, uh, Mac Mara, another G3, Mac Mara. Oh yeah, when I when I did order it, I did get a message. I think they are out with um I did order a lab, was it a lab 22? But they are out of it, so they said, "Would you like to wait, wait a while until we get an order in, or would you like to replace it with something?" I said, "Okay, if I'm not being too cheeky, can I please have a Mac Myra? And it is pretty much the most expensive one on their site." And I said, 
If not, you know, just another one of my generals. They said, no, it's fine, we'll put a McMyra in. And the price difference was about two or three euros, so that was very good of them, actually. G3, slim white, extra strong. I haven't tried a lot of these G3s, actually, so I'm quite looking forward to trying them. Just a um, normal, slim, large portion for XR. Another G3. Can't afford a lot of G3s, I didn't really order this many. Grove, another one of those. Generally can't remember what I've ordered. Oh, Lingon. I've got a Lingon, Yotsburg's Wrappe. Tell you what, I am annoyed. I think I've only ordered one, yeah, I have one crafted snooze. Crap, because that's one I haven't tried. I'm really looking forward to trying. So I hope I uh, find another one of those soon. An LD. My two LDs. Um, what are these? Oh, let me put my glasses on. Oh, the original white and original portion. Catch XR. And that is the mint, and that's a slim white large. I know this is, these are all going off screen, aren't they? Scunny Vite Slim. I'm really into my Lungrins actually, the Scunny Vite. Even though they're perforated, which can sometimes braise a bit more, but their taste is sensational. It's, especially if you like a good citrus taste. That's it. Another Epoch Strong. And another Yotavolt Repé. So I'm really annoyed actually that I didn't order more blooming. Um, Whiskey one. Oh yeah, really annoyed I only ordered one of those. Thought I ordered more. Damn it. Oh well. So um, yeah, UPS though this time. Nothing to do. I know this stuff to do with Top Snooze because they are a very good company. Thank you very much, guys, for getting my order out. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that. I wasn't exactly going to send the package back of a little bit of damage but obviously it's the after uh, these containers so there's not going to be a lot of damage to it but still anyway I'm going to have my dinner I'm going to pop in a snooze and I'll show you how I store all of these see you in a couple of hours hi everyone it's Jason again right I'm now going to show you how um, I actually keep my well basically my snooze and whatnot I've already loaded everything up from that order this is basically my untidy fridge but I have a quite a nice drawer here you should really all store your snooze as I say either in the fridge or the freezer I'm very fortunate to have a very nice fridge They're actually pretty new <laughs> but as I say I mean if you're going to store anything reasonably long term I tend to put it in bags but this is my fridge anyway so I've got a quite a nice drawer here so I've got a lot of um, basically dips in I've got a Copenhagen wintergreen Copenhagen mint uh, straight Long cut, southern blend, some grizzly, grizzly long cut, uh, some ridiculously old, completely almost kindling like um, wolf, does smell like the peach. So got some red man, red man, and that is the golden blend, quite nice. Got some. Shut up fridge. I've got some skull. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, coffee chews, which are pretty nice. Got some general. That's the uh, just the normal classic portion. Some phantom. That's loose classic. Isla whiskey. That's the original portion. I've got some thunder chewing bags. Lab twelve strong. Lungrin scummy beat. General McNamara, McNamara, uh, Myra, and Thunder Cool Mint. And so that is what I've got, just a short term anyway. And there's some food in, in there somewhere, mostly beer. Um, but yeah, that's what I have, tend to have short term. But long term, again, you should really have it in your freezer. Now, what I quite like, quite like a fridge that actually tells you the temperature of each side, so you don't want to go in it really too high or too low or fluctuating. 
yeah, um, this is my base of my snooze freezer. It's sometimes used for food. Go away, cat. There we go. Right. This is my order plus a few more bits of bobs. You know, I did have a system a while ago, but I should have really sorted it out. Uh, that's uh, basically some of the that's on, uh, the order, or well, some of the order anyway that I've showed you already. Plus a quite um, a few other bits and bobs. What you want to do is kind of store it in these things, in, or in those vacuum tight type bags, because you don't want too much air getting to it and basically ruining the product. So you want less air to get into as possible. Got a load of bits and bobs in there, it's mostly Odin's and Siberia, the strong stuff. Again, try and keep the strong stuff away from the normal stuff, I take mine, because you don't want it kind of mixing and tainting the flavours. And especially stuff that's uber, over, uber potent, if you will, and it's got a really strong taste to it. Some Iowa whiskey and a few bits and bobs there. And I've got a, a separate bag for most of my Thunders, and the Thunder Ultras and stuff like that because they are quite potent. I got that order, most of that order from the last time. The um, Nor Northerner could actually send, you know, snooze to the UK. They don't do it at all anymore. They do chew bags, except from that. Got a roll of, uh, of Copenhagen long cut. This is actually the roll that um, they, well, the batch that they found a load of metal shards in. Great. Um, some Copenhagen snuff there. Some Zero Berg, which I've never tried. Got a load of my chews in here in a separate bag. What are these? Oh, these are just some you know, more random stuff. A bit of dynamite, a load of off road, some Nox. A couple of Thunder Frosted Slim portions there. A weird looking can, I don't know if that's an old can. I have here, I have some Thunder X and some uh, the Muckler. Never tried that yet. Got a load of the coffee chews in there. Some Isla whiskey, some Hokey Bottom Glory, however you want to put it. Oh, right, some oh, right, even more coffee chews back there. Some ice and food there. <laughs> um, a ton of more thunder stuff and some melon as well. Again, so I want to keep it away from the um, other stuff. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Ice, more ice, some meat. Oh, also any um, shisha fanatics out there, I have did do a review on these. Keep these in the freezer, all the ice hose for shisha. But yeah, that's basically my stash, my collection, how you store them and whatnot. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a shout. You know, put a little um, comment in the section below. Also, um, if you want to PM me, check me out on Instagram, um, on Facebook, which is shisha in the UK. Instagram's at JasonGVL. Um, Snapchat, which I'm not really on that much anymore. Twitter at JasonGVL. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Don't skip to subscribe. And um, let us know if you want to see anything else. Cheers then.